morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always, told out of voice radio. So today, I have got a new supporter card to show you. It's Jesse. It's James. It's literally called Jesse and James. It's not called Team Rocket. It's called Jesse and James. And I should mention that it has been translated by the lovely David Hockman over at Rappelman TCG over on Facebook. Cheers, David. But what does it actually do? Well, it is a supporter card. And it reads, both players discard two cards from their hand. Your opponent discards their cards first. The fact that your opponent discards first is actually incredibly relevant. We'll get there in a moment. It's disruption. It's really, really good. Like, really good. Yeah, there are downsides. You've got to discard your own cards. We'll get to this as we go through the video. But the first thing to mention here right off the bat, making your opponent discard two cards from their hand can be the difference between winning and losing. We all saw Delinquent. Delinquent was a card whereby you had to discard a stadium in play, and then your opponent discarded three cards from their hand. Now, for Delinquent, they got a choice, just like they got a choice for this. And Delinquent was three cards, whereas this is two. But you didn't have to have Stadium in play for this one. And also, sometimes they're going to just have two cards in hand. And making you, and that's a goal here, just to be clear. The goal is not to take your opponent from a hand of eight down to a hand of six. The goal is to take your opponent from a hand of two down to a hand of zero. Or a hand of four down to a hand of two. Or a hand of three down to a hand of one, etc. That's what we're really going for here. That's the plan. We don't want to get them low on cards. We want to get rid of all of their cards. That's the goal, ladies and gentlemen. Simple as that. That is the goal. So the obvious situation and use for this is, oh, my opponent's got two cards in hand. I will play this. They will have no cards in hand. And that'll work. That's a good way to go about it. It's not always going to work, mind you. There's going to be plenty of times your opponent just doesn't get down to two cards in hand. And there are going to be turns where you get your opponent down to zero cards in hand, and then they top deck a Cynthia and they're out. Or they top deck a Tapu Lele. The thing is, we can work around anything they've got that they might be able to get out of this with, we've got answers to. So Tapu Lele to Dene would also be similarly annoying. So would Orangaroo. So you can play Alolan Muck. And to be fair, Alolan Muck isn't going to help so much if your opponent's rocking a Zeb Striker, because it's not a basic Pokemon. But as it stands, if you're worried about those Pokemon, you're good to go. Something like Ultra Ball shouldn't really worry you too much, because generally speaking, you should be putting your opponent down to a kind of zero or one card hand. So even if they draw an Ultra Ball, they don't have two other cards in their hand to discard to play the Ultra Ball. So that's all right, ladies and gentlemen. And if you really want to block them, we've got item lock. We've got the cryogonal we looked at the other day. Now, it only does 10 damage, but it still does 10 damage. And of course, we've got Luxio. Luxio's item lock. And then, of course, as, as much as you've got Luxio, don't forget you've also got Lux Ray. And uh, you could potentially use that either with a memory energy or with a Shining Celebi to use that attack. So we have got options. And if you combine Alolan Muck with Item Lock, and then get them to a hand of zero, you, you may well end up winning the game. Obviously in Expanded, we got way better options for Item Lock. We got Seismitoad and Trevenant, which are just plain better. And I expect both of those decks to make good use of Jesse and James. Now, the question then becomes, okay, but how do we manipulate this? Because we don't just want to sit there hoping our opponent goes down to two cards in hand. Well, the good news is we've got plenty of options. Getting them down to four cards in hand is extremely simple with Marshadow. Marshadow's seeing a huge amount of play here. Drop a Marshadow, they'll go down to four cards in hand. You can do it with Judge as well, but you would then need to play Lieutenant Surge's strategy first so that you could play two supporters. One would be Judge, one would be Jesse and James. Lieutenant Surge, you play it and you can play two other supporters. So that would be an option, but Marshadow's easier. You then use Jesse and James to put them down to a two card hand, and at that point, Honchkrow GX comes in. Honchkrow GX has a great GX attack for just a double colorless energy whereby you get to look at your opponent's hand, choose two cards, and discard them. 
Well, if you drop a Marsh Shadow and then use Jesse and James, you guarantee that your opponent only has two cards in hand. So now you play that Haunt Crow and you're good to go. Although annoyingly, your opponent wouldn't be item locked at that point because you wouldn't have anything in the active or attacking doing it. I should also mention here, we have got Kabutops, which will be supporter lock, which you may wish to prefer here. And we do actually have Omastar. And Omastar could potentially work here. Omastar says that if you've got fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, they cannot play any item cards. So there is a chance you could get an Omastar deck working with this. And then item lock them while they had zero cards in hand. But Omastar's a bit less reliable, etc, etc. An option, ladies and gentlemen. Please don't think it's not an option. I'm just not sure it's the most reliable option. But it's there anyway. And of course, this is a point in the video where I mentioned Reset Stamp. Reset Stamp is a ridiculous card that's already seeing some success over in Japan. And what Reset Stamp does is it's a one-sided end. Your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck and draws a number of cards equal to the number of prize cards that they have remaining. So if they've got two prize cards remaining, drop a Reset Stamp. They shuffle their hand. You drop Jesse and James. They have a zero card hand. The thing that you need to remember here, and we're really taking a step back to the Marsh Shadow here. It's all very well and good saying, yeah, play a Marsh Shadow and then play a Jesse and James. Please do remember that in order to use Jesse and James, you've got to have it after putting yourself to a four card hand after a Marsh Shadow. I'm not saying you can't do that, but I am saying you need to prep for it. Maybe it's a combination of Macargo. So you can search for any card and put it on top of your deck. And a Pidgeotto to draw one card. And, well, you look at the top two cards of your deck. Put one in your hand, one on the bottom of your deck. So the combination of those two would be able to get it quite easily. I'm just saying you've got to have a way of getting it out here. You can't just cross your fingers and hope. And I want to mention Gloom here quickly. Gloom's going to be coming out in Unbroken Bonds. And once during your turn, you may flip a coin. If heads, look at your opponent's hand, but a basic Pokemon you find there onto their bench. So you could use this to play that Tapu Lele, to play that Dedenne straight onto their bench without letting them use the ability before you play Jesse and James. Now, the other part of this, and this is a very important part of it, you've got to discard two cards from your hand. Now, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not terribly worried. Because you are making the decision to play this supporter card. So if you don't have two cards in your hand that you're willing to discard, don't play it. But the fact of the matter is, the vast, vast, vast majority of decks out there at the moment play Ultra Ball. And Ultra Ball can only be used if you discard two cards from your hand. So if we're not that worried about Ultra Ball, and we weren't that worried about computer search back in the day... I don't see why we should be particularly worried about this. I, I don't really care about discarding two cards from my hand. Now, to be fair, there are ways to make it work in your favor. Certainly, if you go into the expanded format, you've got Execute. And Execute's amazing. Execute, you can put it from the discard pile into your hand. And, of course, in Expanded, you've got Battle Compressor to discard them in the early game. So you use Battle Compressor to discard a couple of Execute. And then whenever you're going to play Jesse and James, you just use the two execute abilities. You put them into your hand, and then you discard them. So the supporter essentially reads, your opponent discards two cards from their hand. Please just do remember that you cannot go ability lock, because in Expanded you've actually got Garboda, which is probably better ability lock than Alola Muck here. But you cannot go for ability lock. If you want to be using Execute, it's kind of one or the other. But then, like we've said of a million of these cards over the year, all you really need to do is be playing something like a Water deck that wants to use Aqua Patch, so you want to discard the energy. Or a Lightning deck that's using Tapu Koko, so you want to discard the energy. Or any deck playing Naganadal or Malamar. So you want to discard the energy. Or maybe in Expanded, you're playing a Vesperquen deck. So you want to discard the Pokemon. Having said that with Vesperquen, you could just go execute instead. I'll leave that one up to you. The point is, yes, I know you've got to discard two cards from your hand. But I don't really care. I don't think that's a huge issue. And I don't think it's going to stop people playing the card. 
The fact of the matter is, this is a great, great card. Delinquent was so good it was banned, and this is two-thirds of a delinquent. No, it's not quite as good as a delinquent, but the fact of the matter is, it's still a really good card. There is a lot to love about this card, and I'm a huge fan of it. I think it's going to be played. I think it's going to make a difference. You're going to see these disruption decks like your Magikarp and Wailord decks, etc. playing it. But you're also going to see all of these decks just doing stuff like Reset Stamp and then this. And then you're golden. This is good, ladies and gentlemen. This is really, really good. I'm going to give it between four and five Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. I'm not saying it's good enough to wreck the format like a five Wossy card, but I think it might be. And I think people are going to play decks based around this that are going to absolutely crush. I think this is a card you are going to have to start preparing for. But I would very much like to know what you think. So please do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. But please do remember the rule, ladies and gentlemen. Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio where you can do that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash Wassy Plays where we talk about other games that don't even have Pokemon in. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.